Good morning, everyone, and welcome to tutorial number three, Understanding Assets. Before we start, please remember, if you like the videos, do click like, subscribe so you won't miss out. And to everyone who has, this, this was overwhelming. So quite a few number of you have supported me one way or another by making a donation to my channel and that's how I can continue doing these videos. However, I've decided um, that for your generosity, I've decided the best thing to do is also set up a space where people who donated will have an invite and you can accept the invite if you like, where you will find some exclusive tutorials because it's fair enough. You, you are supporting me and I want to say thank you. Now, with no further ado, I'm going to start explaining today how we work with assets. And the reason for that is until you know how assets work, you can't really bring in your digital. So today, it's the assets. And very soon, you'll be getting bringing in your digital. I'm not saying when. It could be tomorrow. It could be in a couple of days, the reason for it is people have been telling me, oh, you said you'll be doing them. Yes, I will be doing them. I need to go in a certain order because not everybody would that, um, understand. And there are things you need to do properly because it can go wrong. And I will explain everything when we come to do it. Okay. So today is understanding assets. And that's what I'm going uh, to show you here. Okay. Right. So with no further ado, I'm going to open a new document. I'm going to do an A4 landscape create. This I'm working in um, Affinity 1, but it works the same whether you're in Affinity 1 or Affinity 2. In Affinity 1, you're going to go to View, You're going to go down to Studio, and you're going to click Assets. In Affinity 2, you're going to go to Window, and you click on Assets. Now, by default, or when you first start, all you'll have in your assets are the iOS, whatever number, I think mine is 12, so I assume everybody has 12, and you will have some icons that you can use as images. So I can do that and I get that icon onto my document. However, we're interested in setting up our own asset groups for DigiKids, for Creative Fabrica. And for Creative Fabrica, I, I can do one of the exclusive tutorials is I will show you how I um, do and keep track of all my um, Creative Fabrica assets. So that's a different video. So for here, first thing, you will see that when you get assets in, and there is a way of getting it in here, I can never get it where I want it straight away. But that's, ah, there it goes. You have to get it in a certain place to bring it up on the side. Now, you've got things like controls. And these are, again, things that a lot of alerts, a lot of graphic designers will definitely use, okay? But not for card making. So how are we going to make it for us? When you look at the, where it says assets, on the right hand side of that window we just brought up, there is the this button that looks like four pieces of paper on top of each other. Some people call them burgers. It, it depends what, whether you're hungry or not. Sorry, I'm always joking. So I'm going to click on that menu button. And then here it gives me create a new category. So I'm going to click on that. That's the main category 
like the iOS 12 you can see over there. Okay, now that will open up a little window. Well, in version 2, it will open up a little window so you give it the name straight away. In version 1, you need to go back in and say rename the category. This is what you get in version 2 straight away. In version 1, you've got to go and rename. So where it says assets to, I'm going to call it training for video. The reason I'm doing the training for video is because I probably have training in there already. I've got my DigiKit in there already. I've got my, uh, my uh, Creative Fabrica file in there already. So I do something that is, I know it's not there. And I'm going to say OK. And now I've got training for video. Now I've got assets underneath it. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to rename. And I'm going to call it CF, which means Creative Fabrica. That's what I'm going to do to show you today how you set them up. Okay. And I've done Creative Fabrica. Now you could call your main asset flowers. And then in here you put Creative Fabrica blue flowers. And then you create another category if you want. Let's do another one. So I go up here. And this time, I'm going to create a subcategory. What's that? So you got training for video. I've got CF inside it. So I've got the main drawer training a video. Think of the old-fashioned drawer cabinet. Then inside it, I'm going to do subcategories. So I'm going to go to create a subcategory. And just for the purpose of training, I'm going to rename it. In version 2, you get the rename straight away. Rename, and I'm going to call it CF2. Creative Fabrica 2. I'm going to delete these afterwards. So for me, that's all I need to do at the moment. So OK. Right. Now, how am I going to bring this stuff in? So I'm going to go into my, let me get my folder. Bear with me just one second. So I just realized I would need them. Let's do this one. Right. Let's do that one. So I've got some nice um, images here, which are all to do with Creative Fabrica. And if I want to use them as my video kit, it's much easier than it used to be in Craft Artist. In Craft Artist, you had to save the DigiKit. Until it's saved, you can lose it. Here, as soon as you, control A, as soon as you place them inside where you want them. So I would have called that Boho Style. CF Boho Style. And I would have called Training Video 2 Fashion. The reason I would do that is I know that all my fashion sets are going to be in here. So I'll have, just to explain, there it goes. That's it. That's the digit ready. So I don't have to now go and do anything else. I don't need to save it. Whenever I open Affinity, that set is going to be there ready for me to use. However, this is how I would have done that. You see, I've got Creative Fabrica sorted. Under Creative Fabrica, I've got Fashion. So I would have done this one. Let's do it. So you see it. I'm going to rename the category. Rename category. CF. Fashion. Now it's with an S. I just got mixed up how I write Fashion. Now isn't that silly? Right. F-A-S-H-I-O-N. Oh, I've written it right in my head. Oh, yeah, I did write it wrong. I was going to say, in my head, it didn't look right. So, fashion. CF fashion. That's the top one. Okay. Uh, right. Now, I'm going to do this one. Rename it. 
Så bara på style. Sen CS. Boho style. And okay. So now I know that that's the boho style in there. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go and get another set. So I'm going to go up one. These are all my uh, sessions. I've got, let's see what they are. These are just outfits. Oh, I think I like these. Let's have a look. No, these are just feet. It's to do with fashion. Fashion lady, let's see. Oh, yeah, I know which one this is. I'm going to bring these in. Control A. I'm going to drop them. into here so let's do it the so control a to pick them all up i'm going to drag them into here okay let's open them up because it's not letting me drag them in and if you can't drag something in i'll show you what to do so don't panic don't worry right this i'm going to try to bring them in here and these ones, look, it doesn't want to let me bring them in. So I'm going to bring them in onto my desktop, onto my page. They'll all come in. There you go. Ah, that's because there was a zip file. That's why it did not let. There's always a reason. It's not supported. Okay, closed. So. If I do control A, that's all my images look in there. Okay? So all I need to do is pick them up and drag them, or I'll tell you a better way so you learn another way. If you go up here, you can say add from selection. Now I'll just wait a little. And they're in there. Okay. Now, if I delete those, when I want to use these, I just bring them in. And they are my lovely images. So that's how that works. And you can keep bringing in and delete and bring in like we do with our digital. Okay. So that's how you can set up your assets. That's the first important thing. Okay. Now, in another video, I'm going to do how you transform a digikit into images to be able to bring them in here. Okay, so for now, thank you all again to all the supporters. I will, I have actually got some exclusive uh, videos I can show you. I will also do one about how I set up my um, Creative Fabrica. And just to give you a hint, I'll show you my Creative Fabrica folder. There you go. These are all my Creative Fabrica. And I set them up in a way that if I'm doing Seaside, I go on to Seaside. And there's all my folders with the Seaside images. So I will show you all how I do my work. In the meantime, for everyone else, please do enjoy. Get ready to learn how to do those assets. Because once you create those assets and you are comfortable with creating them, there will then be uh, the next step, bringing in your digital. So till the next video, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you again shortly.